Ghost lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the high life. Dress to impress like it's prime. When you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had to see Jesus, he was kids. Big tips, big cars, and big tricks. Never know that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room hey, starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. It's just a We just got back from the grocery store, and typically this is something we do once a week for a bigger shop, but then we always end up back at the grocery store, usually on Thursday. So this gets us through about Sunday afternoon, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and Thursday morning. And by Thursday afternoon, our fridge is usually looking pretty bare because Patrick and I do eat a pretty good amount of food and we like to try to eat as fresh as possible. So if I cook everything today on Sunday, it's not tasting quite as fresh. So we kind of do two days of meal prep and two days of grocery shopping. Just one is a little bit bigger than the other. So Sunday is our big shop. I got most of the stuff that we normally buy. We still had a little bit left over. For instance, uh, Kodiak cakes. We pretty much buy those every week and we bought two boxes last week. So we're still pretty good on those. Uh, sweet potatoes, we still have some in the pantry. And ground turkey, we already have some ground turkey. So other than that, this is pretty much regularly what we buy. So throughout the video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to do a grocery haul, a grocery haul how to get in and out of the store without buying the Oreos and the, the stuff that you really don't wanna put in your pantry, but when you're in the store, it just kinda of starts calling your name and it looks delicious and it makes you really want it, so then you put it in the cart and then you end up eating it and you're like, oh, why did I buy this? So a couple tips on that. And I think the first tip though that I'm gonna start with is never go to the grocery store hungry. I think we all know that, but that makes everything that we don't wanna buy look a little bit more appealing and it just kind of like, it's not that we don't have the willpower, but we kind of just like let that go out the window and just start throwing things in the cart. So never go to the grocery store hungry, but let's kind of start, let's start with our carbs. So oatmeal is a staple in our house. We buy lots of oatmeal, rice, we eat, a ton of rice. I'm super particular. The biggest bag of rice ever. I like jasmine rice. I don't know. It digests better. I feel like maybe it's slightly healthier. There's only one ingredient in it, and I just really like that. We buy the biggest bag, so this lasts us a little while. Potatoes. So we usually buy two types of potatoes. Usually a russet potato and a sweet potato. We already have some sweet potatoes or a red skin potato and a sweet potato. Just variety is gonna be key. So that's a major tip for grocery shopping is when you're doing this, you wanna have variety. So you don't wanna eat the same potato every week or you're gonna stop wanting to eat it. So we rotate between rice and potatoes. We also buy bread. So this is more for Patrick than for me, but I'll have a slice here and there. I actually prefer English muffins. So um, yeah, I don't know why, they're just, Little easy, they have like 23 to 27 grams of carbs with one gram of fat, and when I'm training, I don't like to eat a ton of fat. So English muffins are my go-to. And then our last, like, I guess carb, would be these buffalo wing. And we have literally become addicted to these. This is like our, kind of like our unhealthy treat that we'll throw in with our lunches or something that just tastes really good. And it's it takes the place of our potato chip. So instead of buying like a Dorito or a sour cream and onion ruffles potato chip or Cheetos, we go with the buffalo wing party size pretzels. And we can seriously do some work on these. But we were pretty pumped when they came out with that party size bag. So those are those are mainly the carbohydrate staples in our in our grocery shopping. Tip number two, so tip number one, don't go to the store hungry. Tip number two, shop the perimeter. And what that does, so like I did have to go in the aisle to get the oats, the rice, the potatoes, no aisle, the bread. And actually these aren't even in an aisle, they're right by our produce. We don't have to go in an aisle for them. So shopping the perimeter is gonna help you stay away from the stuff that has longer shelf life. Like we want stuff that doesn't have a huge shelf life and most of it should be going into our fridge when we get home and that's how we're gonna know we're eating cleaner. So definitely try to shop the perimeter and then tip number three is have a list or know what you buy. Literally we buy the same thing every single week. So even though I talked about variety, it's like the same thing with maybe a few small changes. So a red skin potato versus a russet potato. Clementines versus large navel oranges. So we kind of switch those up without making major changes and still eating really healthy. So let's go ahead and let's go through some of the produce that we bought. So Clementines, 
Uh, this is something that I absolutely love and I think has been a really big staple in my training this year. I usually eat, when I'm training hard, four to six clementines a day. That citrus fruit just makes my stomach feel good and provides me with the micronutrients that I need. Clementines, I don't know if Pat eats those. He's more of an apple guy. I'm an orange girl, he's an apple guy. Sounds kind of funny. Oranges and apples, apples and oranges. Anyways, okay, Honeycrisp apple is his favorite. So we get a couple of those, slice those up, maybe put some peanut butter on with them. And then bananas. So these are a really great source of carbohydrate, especially when you need something quick that's gonna digest fast if you're in between training sessions or maybe in between pieces of that session. They also have a lot of good potassium. So oranges, apples, bananas, that's pretty straightforward. We then do avocados. So we put these on our burgers, we put them on our turkey sandwiches, we put them on pretty much our salads. We, we try to use this as one of our healthy fats. So an avocado is a really good go-to there. Um, from there, we have a yellow onion and a red onion. These are both specifically for me. Patrick doesn't like onions. I don't know what's wrong with him. So the onions, then we buy two types of lettuce. And that's again, variety. So just kind of mixing it up. So I like to just slice this or you can like peel it and put it on your sandwich, which is really nice and it adds some crunch. So we always buy the romaine hearts and then we also always buy a big thing of spinach, which he likes to mix into his eggs. We do spinach salads, we put them on sandwiches, on burgers, like we can use spinach and all sorts of things. So lots of, lots of variety there. Um, and then finally broccoli. Broccoli is always a staple. We like to do the broccoli crowns. We either roast or steam it. I'm a big fan of roasted broccoli. Patrick more likes the steamed broccoli. So again, variety, just going back and forth so you're not eating the exact same thing every single day. It's kind of a huge piece to keeping healthy eating, feeling fresh and fun and enjoyable. Okay, next let's talk about like our protein sources or more of our meat. So eggs. Pat is a huge egg guy. I think we already have two cartons, but we usually keep at least two cartons in our fridge at all times. Um, usually a breakfast food for us. Sometimes we do like to have breakfast for dinner. These are my go-to. So I pretty much eat two of these every single morning, sometimes four, depending on where I'm at in the season. But the reason I love them is they only have five grams of fat and they have nine grams of protein, 90 calories. Um, they are turkey sausage, fully cooked breakfast sausages. So I just pop them in the microwave, takes 30 seconds, and I usually eat two of these with my bowl of oatmeal if I haven't already put protein in my oatmeal. So these are me, so he's an egg guy, I'm a sausage girl, it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, then heavy whipping cream. You guys always see me posting about coffee and collagen coffee. We both do two shots of espresso in the morning. We used to like drink a whole pot of coffee, which is not good. It used to make us kind of feel like this. So we don't do that anymore. And then we've just put in, I literally measure out my cream every single morning. I put one tablespoon or 15 milliliters into my coffee and then I'll dump that collagen or protein in there and it makes it taste absolutely amazing. And it still tastes creamy, but this doesn't upset my stomach the way that milk would upset my stomach. Finally, we are huge hot sauce people. This is not our normal hot sauce, but we decided to try something new. They were actually out of it. I think it's called Tapito, T-A-P-I-T-O. I like to go back into the history of Tapatio. Uh, but I think that's what it's called. Tapatio. The only downfall about this one that that one doesn't have is this one has sugar. And if I knew that, I wouldn't have told Pat to put it in the cart. But I didn't check the label, so we've got a sugary hot sauce for this go around. Um, coffee. We like Dunkin' Donuts. We're kind of picky about that, but we really, really, really like Dunkin' Donuts. Tastes delicious, tastes amazing every morning. And then finally, oh, I was supposed to be doing protein, sorry. Back to protein. Um, chicken. We do a ton of chicken. Again, I like to keep my fat a little bit low. I'm usually between 58 and 62 grams of fat per day. So if I'm eating pretty fatty proteins and pretty fatty meats, that can go quickly. So I like to get my fat, I like to get my protein from my protein and then my fat from things like avocado or nut butters or things along those lines, not a super heavy fatty piece of protein. And then these are one of my absolute favorite, hot Italian chicken sausage that we can grill. Uh, you guys might follow me on Instagram. I've forgot about these and left them in the grill before and they become non-existent. I burned the grill down. Uh, but again, like per one link is only six grams of fat. So it's really nothing crazy. So those are chicken sausage as well. We usually do buy ground turkey, but we have some in the fridge, so we didn't need that. And then, yeah, here. It's fall, so we're kind of switching it up again, talking about variety. I will use some of our meat, and we're gonna make a chili. So we just do diced tomatoes with kidney beans and a little bit of chili seasoning that we can 
just kind of have with a salad or just kind of keep changing things up, especially as the seasons change. So I think that's it. That's, that's our main grocery haul. Like I said, a couple really good tips. One, go in with a list if you already don't know what you're buying. So that list is gonna keep you buy only what is on the list. Two, shop the perimeter. Three, don't go hungry. And then four, make sure you have variety. So something that I like to work with people in the gym about is like a three per list. So what you can do is you can say, okay, I want three veggies, I want three fruits, I want three sources of carbohydrates, and I want three different proteins. That way, and three sources of fat. So that way when you leave the store, you have some variety. And you can even write that out onto your list. And then next week, if you're like, oh, I'm getting really sick of my broccoli crowns, maybe we switch those out for roasted asparagus or mushrooms or something along those lines. So you can keep seeing those veggies and you can keep adjusting them and changing them. Same with fruit, like you could come home with pineapple or you could come home with papaya or mango or you know watermelon, whatever that is, that you can keep switching out those fruits. That way you are not getting super bored, but you're continuing to eat clean and eat healthy. So you're fueling your body so you feel really good, but you're also having lots of variety. Step five, or tip number five, step five, I haven't been giving you guys steps, I've been giving you tips. Um, tip number five would be cook and prepare your food right when you get home, even if it's not immediately that same day. So for us, that's what I'm gonna spend the next hour or two doing is we're gonna roast our potatoes, we're gonna start cooking our rice, uh, we're gonna cook and grill our chicken, get our sausage, our chicken sausages ready, just because that is a huge help when Monday morning rolls around and we have really healthy options quickly available and convenient in the fridge. A lot of times if it's not cooked and it's not ready, then we might go to something that is a little bit quicker or an easier option that maybe isn't as healthy and then sometimes the food can get wasted. So make sure that you not only make time to go to the grocery store, so first planning your list, two, going to the store, and then three, prepping your food. So I'm gonna spend the next hour or two prepping and then Patrick and I are gonna bring you guys a full macro breakdown of what he eats in a day. I'm gonna count his macros for him. He's actually never done it, so I'm really excited to see what his regular day breakdown looks like. And then another video of a full day of eating for me, what I eat in a day, and just sharing with you guys some of our favorite tips, tricks, hacks, and recipes. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss those two videos. I have a feeling we eat very differently. I'm really excited to share that with you. And then also, if you liked this video, please hit the like button. It helps our channel. It, it helps with the algorithm and it helps us be able to keep producing content for you guys and keep sharing stuff with our life and our fitness journey because we love doing it and we hope you love it too. So if you have any questions on anything that we bought or I don't know, any questions at all, stuff you want to see, make sure you drop those in the comment section and we will try to bring them to you. Have a great day.